I need it. What's up, homies? It is your homegirl, Natalie, and welcome to a new style of video I will be having on my channel, and that is talking about summer 2020 trends that I am loving, and hopefully I will try out. So let's get into it. <laughs> Let me move this. I'm poking you, girl. I've been seeing a lot of these videos on the YouTubes. So let's talk about the first item. The first one is unexpected crochet clothing items done with crochet. So that could be from like dresses, shirts, tube tops, pants even. I obviously have a couple pieces that are crochet. Actually my sister's um, checkered hat, she crocheted that and it's just like so, so freaking cute. I feel like crochet and just like knitting in general was always seen as, you know, old lady stuff. But obviously as trends happen, people are are taking on crochet and just using it in new like silhouettes and updating the type of patterns that they're using and things like that which I think is really cool I don't think I'll be able to like thrift this or anything what I will say with crochet if you can definitely try to support like a small business I mean like shameless plug or not whatever but my mom has a knitting and crochet business as well as my sister check them out if you want something that is custom made or just handmade they make some really really beautiful amazing things like they are talented all right so that is bringing us to net fashion i guess on instagram but i'm sure it was like on tiktok first but there's that one girl that got like this mesh dress from amazon or even like she got the pants from amazon like she looked so awesome in that outfit i think this is really cute i would love to have this in like, like slinky long dress and then i could pair it with like shorts baby tee or bralette underneath it or even wearing it you have like a long dress of this like net crochet and then you put like a slip dress underneath that would be really cute or like a little mini dress eee, very cute next up is crafty jewelry okay kind of like things we probably would have made when we were kids i don't think i've ever made that stuff when i was a kid but i'm sure i saw my white friends do that obviously i'm a huge huge fan of like big chunky like stuff but within the recent years i have learned to appreciate more dainty smaller kind of like jewelry and what i like about the jewelry like trend the fact that it's still colorful and quirky especially the fact that you can make it yourself and you could just really just have fun with it. Well now speaking of jewelry, I gotta give a big old shout out to today's sponsor, Ana Luisa. <laughs> Thank you for sponsoring today's video. I have partnered up with them a bunch in the past and now we have partnered yet again. So if you guys don't know Ana Luisa, they are a luxury jewelry brand company, okay? Where they offer you high quality pieces at a fraction of the price. Why a fraction? Why a fraction you say? Well, it's actually because there isn't like a middleman just like from them to you. So you, you're getting some really, really nice, beautiful pieces and you're not breaking the bank, which is like all we want in life. You know what I'm saying? We want to look cute, but we want to, you know, be able to pay our rent, pay our bills, and all that stuff. So all their pieces are tarnish-free and long-lasting, and they have items that are either sterling silver or 14K gold-plated. Also, they are now carbon neutral from their products to their packaging, which is really awesome. I recently got my ears pierced, and I've just been waiting for it to heal. This one is the last one. She's taking her time healing, but the rest of them are good. This is Ana Luisa. This is Ana Luisa. All of this on this ear is actually Anna Luisa as well. Actually, these are just ear cuffs. I'm just trying to figure out like whether I want to have another piercing here or there, but I'm happy that I'm able to like at least try this out. When I switched out the earrings into these pieces from Anna Luisa, I was just like, oh, my dream of having like a curated ear is finally complete. If you're someone also that has a lot of piercings or you're looking to get your ears pierced and you want to have that like curated, cute kind of like ear, definitely check out Anna Luisa. They have so many pieces. But also if you are like me into like more big bold type of jewelry, then definitely check them out still. They have everything from necklaces to rings to bracelets. They even have like little holders for your accessories, which is so freaking cute. I actually gave mine to my mom. I know my mom travels all the time, so she just has it with her. <laughs> so if you guys want to go ahead and check out Ana Luisa, I have a code for you. It is homegirl 
girl 10 and that is going to be 10% off your first purchase with Ana Luisa. So, you know, just in case you want to treat yourself or treat someone else or treat your mom, hey, were you late on getting a Mother's Day gift? Go ahead and check out Ana Luisa. They got some nice stuff over there. So, yeah. <laughs> the link will be in the description box. And so now let's get back to the video. What I would really like to do with this trend is find like a really big oversized one. I feel like I have been looking for this for a really, really long time. Just a really oversized one and just wearing it as a dress. I think that would look so cute. But yeah, I mean, I feel like this is something that probably a lot of people can recreate in their own wardrobes, which is nice because sometimes, you know, you'll be looking at trends, you're like, if I had the money, if I had the body, if I had this. Not only is it a neutral piece, but it's a piece that I feel like anyone could look good in and anyone could feel good in. Yeah, get yourself a button down and that is something that you could definitely thrift okay so next is tube tops this always comes up but i have a thing with showing my arms it's weird because like if it's like a tank top i'm showing my arms i might be like ooh. but if it's like a strapless dress or a tube top i'm like it's not that bad and i think the reason why is because you get to see more of uh, this and i think that's such like a sexy part of a woman so i'm always down to show this and i don't care as much of like how my arms look so i don't know maybe if you also kind of feel that kind of way with your arms try like a tube top or try a strapless dress or something because you might be like you know what? I don't care because you get to show this baby off so yeah I'm gonna just keep my dress like this now <laughs> let's say if you don't have a tube top but you want to go ahead and try out this trend just get a tank top and just you know stuff the rest of it in your bra that's it oh my god next is bright orange I've been wanting to get back into orange for a really long time I don't know if you've been with me for this long but I used to have really really bright orange hair like that was like my signature then eventually I just let it grow out into what it is now it is such such a pretty color I feel like if you really want inspo for bright orange there are two creators that I absolutely love on Instagram and that is forever yours Betty and Pip Jolly Pip Jolly okay next one is showing off your midriff so it's not necessarily like a certain style but just like what you should be showing off this summer and that to me is like my bread and butter I mean in any outfit I'm always showing off my midriff I feel like that just always balances out my body I've been wearing like these House of Sunny like cardigans and I like just wearing them buttoned up and just having the rest of it just open and I think that looks really cute if I'm just standing straight you kind of don't see it but then when I move around you get like that glimpse of skin and it's like ooh, okay there she is but other than that I definitely do love a lot of crop tops and stuff and it's not to say that I have a bunch of crop tops in my wardrobe because I actually don't but what I just always do is my insta crop so I just flip everything and put it in my bra and now I have a crop top oh my god this next one oh, I didn't know the name of it I mean I've seen it please it's like a crinkled type of fabric there are different weights to it ever since I saw this picture from Gigi good in this whole outfit I was like <sighs> I want it I want it. I need it. <laughs> if you know where that's from, go get some retinol cream. No, okay. <laughs> I actually had pants that were like this plissé fabric. It was a baby pink color that I thrifted. I ended up giving it away because it was too see-through. I mean, I guess I could have worn like opaque tights. So like in the picture of Gigi's, it's a lot thicker. And so that at first I thought it was something that you would see more for winter time. So if you have that like light thin weight, I think if you find like a matching set, Okay, so then this leads us into matching sets. Ever since the whole like pandemic era that we've been having, I remember, was it Lisa Says Ga? Like matching like checkered like set. Yo, ever since I was blowing up, I was like, I want that. I need it. I don't have anything that was a matching set except for this like skirt and shirt that I did a thrift flip to, but that fabric isn't necessarily the best for summertime, especially because like your girl be sweating. So I think just finding like a matching set and like that flowy type of almost like pajama material would be amazing the really great thing with having matching sets especially if you're going like on vacation and stuff both of it together that's one outfit the shirt with something else another outfit the the bottom with something else is another outfit so you can really maximize your wardrobe with matching sets what i'm going to do is i'm just going to thrift for something that's very oversized and see if i can make it into like a cute matching set 
<gasps> That's exciting. Okay, so next um, is mini skirts. The one that I really want to get my hands on is a black mini skirt. And this is actually thanks to my girl Karina. Karina, girl, I always be watching your videos, okay? But I love how she looks in a just a mini skirt and I'm always like yes girl like work like that's I want to look like that too but I haven't found like a cute mini skirt here <laughs> I only have like black shorts and like in terms of a mini skirt I don't want it just to be like jersey material because that's something that I you know I used to wear in like high school university time and what I would like is more of a structured like mini skirt that kind of like flares out a little baby bit that is what I truly want I mean especially because it's black it obviously can go with a bunch of different things so it's a really great neutral piece to have in my wardrobe so I just have to go ahead and thrift one I think if anything if I could find like a long one but the end the hem kind of like flares out maybe I'll be able to to fix it yo listen as a girl who is short as hell I always have to be in heels because you know I just I need the height I need <laughs> so platform sandals is like normally for summertime I'm always wearing mules but you know, hey, there's nothing wrong with wanting something a little bit more comfortable in platform sandals. Oh, sorry. Thank you for being in platform sandals would give me that. My only thing though, I don't really like the super super like flat like this. Like one little like rock in the street, you're just like because that has happened to me. Platforms that I would love are the ones that kind of like that arch up it's just what i want i want to add in the height without having my feet hurt too much however with that being said another really trend that i am loving are knee-high boots and i think because the micro mini is so big and that kind of like silhouette you, when you pair it with like boots it just looks good um so i know i just said like i want my knee to be comfortable but 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 i mean that is a reason why pairing like my skirts or like my short dresses with with the knee-high boots even though it's still springtime i think that looks really cute next thing is cutout looks and i feel like this is something that we have been seeing being trendy for like i think maybe this whole year thus far but it's cutout looks but also with like straps different design like straps going like a bunch of different places now i can appreciate a cutout look because i love showing skin however i was like i don't know if i could wear that because i'm like where do my boobs go if this is cut out then i got a little strap here got a strap here then this cut out this cut out how do i wear a bra and still look okay i think i probably have to invest in some like really good boob tape yeah that's my only like concern with the like strappy type of trend even though it looks so cute and i'm like oh, i want to participate in it but where are my boobs gonna go where are they gonna go they can't just be like hanging out free falling they can't oh my god is this the last one <gasps> Is this the last thing? No. One, two, 14, that's it? This was so sad. I was like, I wanted to keep talking. Our last one is the party dress. The ones that they're showing in this example look so freaking cute. Is kind of being shown as like very like bold, tight fitting dresses. I can't really speak about America, but I can speak about Korea. It's just been this month that we're really finally starting to get back to normal. May 2nd, we don't have to wear masks outside so like for the past two years we've been like outside like this and i was like oh my god summertime is coming i'm gonna be like sweating with my mask on there's no curfew like restrictions anymore beforehand everything would have to close at a certain time now there isn't so i feel like at least in korea people are going out a lot more in turn i personally like when i want to go out i'm like i want to wear like a cute little dress i don't think a cute little dress is going to be my go-to when i'm trying to like get down dance dance <laughs> it's definitely not my go-to because my ass is going be out but if i'm going out to like something like with my girlfriends like to a bar or to like dinner i want to wear like a cute little outfit and a party dress is that i have like one party dress but that's really about it i am definitely gonna have to try to thrift a dress that i can maybe like just recreate into like a small little dress but kind of getting our lives back together so let's celebrate good times come on with our party dresses man so i guess that is it for this video homies this is so much fun to just like sit down and chat let me know if you guys like it let me know if you want to hear about the trends i'm not loving because as i was researching i was like oh no 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 but i also don't want to sound like a hater mary j blas said no need no hateration only holleration in this dancery so i'm not sure <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, and also, please, please don't forget to go ahead and check out Ana Luisa. I am so sure that you will find something that you will love. So, you know, go ahead and treat yourself or treat someone else. You know, we all love a little love here. The link is in the description box. If you are going to purchase anything, go ahead and use my code homegirl10. And yeah, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Please be safe, have fun, have a great day, have a great night. And that's it, bye.